Welcome, folks, to another VG Bus video. We're playing another Bond game. The world is not enough. It wasn't enough that we played one Bond game. We had to play another one. Oh, here we go. Repetitive. <laughs> Annoying. Same. Oh, Ooh, a hot air balloon just got hot. Oh, I'm blown away. This is so high tech. I can already tell this movie sucked. Here's Brosnan jumping from a building. I wouldn't mind if he didn't make it. What is his middle name? Probably Franklin. <laughs> Pierce Franklin Brosnan. I thought it was Pierce Prostate Brosnan. <laughs> or that. has been arranged for you with a Swiss banker named Lachaise. Who gives a fuck? Three... <laughs> I hate your comedy show. I'm providing you with a very John, please. Disruptor. When activated, all metals within a five-foot radius become undetectable. For more urgent situations, I'm giving you... Oh, he's putting me to sleep. I thought he was a comedian. Oh, I guess not. James, do take Boy, it. I'm sure he was pissed and when he got the role for this. I'm sure you say I'm a comedian, not a serious actor with a pipe up my ass like Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise. Didn't we already see this? We already saw this. Uh, I would have never guessed he was going to shoot a gun at us. And who would have thought that there'd be blood running down? There's Pierce himself. Here we, here we go, and his... Famous disguise with the glasses and the pocket. Is he supposed to be Clark Kent? I, I guess so. Let's check into the receptionist. That's a low cut top. James Bond. I'm sorry, Mr. Bond. He's currently unavailable. Perhaps you'd like to wait here for another representative? No, I'm not waiting. I'm going straight in. I go straight into her, too. <laughs> So I have to use this pen thing that John Cleese made uh, to get through the metal detector. John Cleese made it. That, <laughs> <laughs> that can't be good. I'm surprised it worked. Nice elevator. Probably cardboard. Uh oh. Well, see what ADT does? <laughs> That's a nice Homeland Security system. Where are these fools? It takes them that long? There's like a robbery going on here. And they take forever. I don't feel like Pierce Bronston playing this game. I don't feel like someone, I don't know, somewhat competent. I feel more like Geraldo Rivera. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Geraldo is going to be the next Bond, and he's going to be great in it. Um, he, would, he would make a great Bond. The report that Sir Robert King bought was stolen from an MI6 agent who was killed. This guy's not going to last I long. It's a terrible tragedy, but the name less says, all right, all right, but you'll have to protect me from it. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> well, that was great. How could you not see that coming? What a dumbass. His last name has to end in speed. <laughs> that is definitely a Polish move. The girl's not gonna kill me. Well, she just did. She just tore your kidneys out. Oh, here we go. Here comes a clip from the movie. Oh, don't fall. That can't happen. That's bullshit. Oh, that can happen. What? You know what? A perfect landing. Nobody's that skilled. I know what M stands for. Morbidly obese. <laughs> no, no, no. That's... That's the owner of Wendy's daughter. <laughs> have you seen her on those commercials? I have. I even put it in widescreen. <laughs> and, and the cropping gets all messed up. <laughs> it goes the box. She couldn't even fit in 1080i? 
no. resolution. I don't want to see her in 1080p. I'd rather not see her in high depth. I'd rather see her in low depth. And on my 19-inch TV, the, the TV ended up breaking. It, could, it, just, it just couldn't support him. Why is he driving Batman's boat? That's a good question. He probably stole it from her. Or him. Oh, she's screwed. She probably just did get screwed by somebody. Oh, what does she do? The solution is <laughs> go to the rainbow colored balloon. Yeah, let's go in a hot air balloon. We'll we'll be safe there. <laughs> nothing can ever I'll, I'll be nice and nothing can get this down. She I'm could explain into it. Even a smart car would be a better solution <laughs> of escape than to go in a hot air balloon. That's stupid. Why would anybody get a smart car? I like to see Dave Thomas's daughter try to fit in one of those. <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't be able to. Talking about fresh food. It's all processed. Don't give me that shit. When I had the Baconator, I was on the toilet for at least 30 minutes. With fresh <laughs> food, that would not happen. <laughs> It's fresh from the freezer. It's fresh frozen. Like on Kitchen Nightmares, but most of those chefs always say that. Alright, this is not fair. I've got a silenced pistol, and they have machine guns. There we go. That's pretty bad if you beat them with a pistol. It is, but now I've got the Ingles. The Ingles? Laura? Laura Ingles Wilder. <laughs> she sucked. She couldn't even do any of the work. <laughs> it's a horrible gun. Oh, here's where we're supposed to go. Let well, me get does, another vest. I, I guess it does look like the Eagle's house. Because James Bond always is concerned about the way he looks. He needs another vest. It's not for protection. Oh, there's a person there. Not anymore. Oh, oh let's God. use a watch to grapple onto this hot air balloon. Why don't we just try to shoot it? Can you do that? Oh, there we go. I almost missed it. Can, 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 can you shoot the hot air balloon? I would like to. I don't think you can, though. John Cleese's watch didn't work very well. Obviously not. Look at that. That's not very nice. I can protect you! Not from him! How will Bond be saved? By, by landing on something. Landing on a dome? Well, it's not the New Orleans dome. It would fall apart. And let's go to the review portion of our video. I'm on GameSpot's website, and they give it a 6.7 out of 10. What, really? They say the world is not enough, provides an engaging experience, but fails to match the gameplay finesse of GoldenEye. Unfortunately, I have to agree with that. I'm surprised they like GoldenEye. But I would have to say that this game is better than the last game that we played which was Tomorrow Never, Never dies. dies. Yes. That game should have. I guess, but still a 6. I would, I would give it a 5. 
we spend our hard-earned cash, <laughs> our dollar fifties, and our two dollars to buy these bargain bin games and go through the pain of playing them. Change falls out of my pocket, and what do I say? I'm going to buy a game. Please subscribe, and please, please comment. Wouldn't Geraldo Rivera make a good bond?